What's going on guys? Today, we're going to do a little review of the Safari Land 6390 RDS holster. Now, people that know me know I'm a major fan of Safari Land and a lot of their products. This particular product I have an issue with, which isn't very common. Now, it's not a major issue, it's a small issue, but nevertheless, it's an issue. Um, Safari Land has great products. Uh, I know one of my guys, my buddy, uh, Mill Spick, Mill Spec Mojo, you see him running a lot of Safari Land gear. So, you know, definitely if you guys have experienced the same problem, definitely comment. I want to know your thoughts and views. Now, now here we go with the 6390 RDS holster. It's fitted for the Glock 17. Now, you can obviously have your TLR1 or Surefire flashlight. And as well as your optic. On here, I'm running the Vortex Venom. Okay. All right. Now, my issue with the holster is now, for one, I want to point out that it's a level two holster, it's not level three. So, this isn't the ALS SLS. Okay. So, now it's drawn here. No problem. Okay. Now, the issue that I have with the holster is when you put the optic cover down, okay? Now, optic covers down. Ooh. That when it came out. Oh, I wasn't down all the way. So let's do it again. That's my issue. When you have the optic cover all the way down, it won't come out like that. That's how you need to come out, okay? Now with the optic cover down, that's what you don't want if you need your gun for defensive purposes, okay? You want to be able to head a gun up, okay? Now that's how I did use my thumb to push it down, but it's not as a normal push like with the ALS SLS. So can you do it? Yes. We'll take some practice but you can't do it. But from a person that likes the LS SLS setup, I feel as though you should be able to just be able to draw even with the hood down and just pull out. And I have to do the extra step. Because once again, that's something that you definitely have to practice. And since it just doesn't have the hook on it, like the LS SLS holster, it's a little more complicated to make sure you can get on and flip it up to disengage, okay? So, like I said, once again, I love Safari Land products. This is just one of the minute things that I had an issue with. But outside of that, the holster's a great holster. Obviously, you can still run it with an optic, uh, flashlight. So, I do love the holster, but just that one hang up because it's a little more awkward to be able to release the hood that covers your optic. But outside of that, I mean, if you practice with it, you can make anything efficient. You know what I mean? So just a little gear review. But once again, like I said, I love Safari Land products. This surprised me with this one, but it happens, you know? But as always, guys, have fun, shoot safe.